Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at some of the best Black Friday investments that I think you guys can make, whether it's a buy for your team or whether it is an investment for a market rise after Black Friday because so many people have sold cards as we head into the big promo this Friday. Yes, we do still expect a market rise because so many people are waiting to buy cards for their teams or to buy cards as investments, right? The whole Black Friday timeframe is based around a drop in the market, the content is released, then people go back out and buy cards. And I wanna take a look at all areas of the market today. Icons, out of pack special cards, your meta golds like Mbappe, Ronaldo, Neymar, Messi, and SBC fodder because I think all of them have potentials to have some rebounds at some point in the next week or so after Black Friday does come out. And I wanna kinda of just talk through again how I think the market's gonna be affected with the pack supply and some buy times for a few of these cards as well. Now this goes without saying, the FIBA 22 market is crazy different, right? You guys know, this year in the game, the pack supply is insane, the number of packs and with preview packs is just outrageous. It's gonna get even crazier on Friday and I'm really curious about these gold cards and I'm gonna talk about the most safest options for an investment in my opinion still on this market are gonna be out of pack special cards and my number one favorite, icons and SBC fodder because those are gonna be places after Black Friday when everybody opens packs. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of packs in the store, 50Ks, 100Ks, 125Ks, the first lightning rounds of the year, I would imagine. Also preview packs, that's gonna put a lot of coins on the market. Now I know that the supply is gonna be insane and it's gonna be crazy for anything that is in packs, especially that's gonna get packed a lot like gold cards, but I still think that with those coins getting put on the market like we've seen in previous years, we are gonna see a nice market rise heading out of Black Friday. So that's what I wanna talk about today in this video as well, especially for later on this weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, into that time frame, I do think you're gonna see people buy a lot of cards back to get their weekend league teams ready to play uh, and build their squads that they've been waiting and wanting to build as the market has dropped off. So we're gonna take a look at gold cards first, all right? I wanna take a look at gold cards because these are the cards that are gonna get supplied the most and it's gonna be crazy. Now we've already seen big drop-offs, right? Now I'm gonna use Messi as my example. We're gonna look a lot at FIFA 21 and how the market reacted last year. Now again, I know, and you guys know this market is very, very different inside of FIFA 22, but I think there's gonna be some similarities. First of all, here with this Messi card, right? One thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is everything in FIFA 21 was way more expensive than it was this year. The whole market is so much cheaper this year and that goes for the entire thing. Meta icons as well. Like we're gonna look at baby Vieira. He was like 2 million coins last year. He's like 1.3 mil right now. It's crazy to see how much cheaper everything is. But again, with a lot of coins coming onto this market this weekend, that is why we still think that there could be some big rises on this game. Now let's, look, let's go to Messi, right? Messi was 650K in early November. The first base icon SBC came, dropped his card down, preview packs at that same time. He got supplied and panic sold a lot, down to 500K. He has now dropped from 500K down to the low 400 range, right? I still think that there's a little bit of room to drop on this Messi card, especially if his gold item is in packs. I think all of your gold cards are going to drop, especially, you know, if it's a lower rated card like a Kempembe, like a Hakimi. Uh, Usman Dembele is already 6,000 coins, a Ferlin Mendy, like these cards, in my opinion, are going to drop off a pretty sizable amount because they've been supplied all year and they're about to get supplied like crazy through all the packs that are going to be open on Black Friday. But for these really meta cards like a Messi, right, like a Ronaldo, like an Mbappe, just like we saw last year with a lot of these cards, those high tier golds, there was a lot of supply last year on this market as well. Uh, Messi was 500,000 coins last year. He rebounded back up to 550 on that weekend, and then his price kind of started to trail off uh, as we headed into some panic that was that was happening in early December of FIBA 21 uh, with some other stuff going on. But I think this is the movement that you're going to see this weekend on the market. I think you're going to see a lot of these gold cards, like stuff that is in packs that is really meta, uh, even if it's a little bit lower rated. I know I'm a little worried about like Kempembe. Uh, and players like maybe Sun's Gold or Hakimi's Gold card, they're going to get supplied a ton early on in those first couple you know, times on Friday of the lightning rounds and the saved up packs and preview packs being released. But they're also going to be, they're also going to have so much demand because people are wanting to go out and buy 
team. So I would expect to see just a movement like last year on a Messi card, right? I remember trading with Hyun Min Sun's gold card last year during the lighting rounds. He went down, he would rise up as people were starting to buy him back. Then the next hour, a lightning round would come. He would drop down a little bit again. He would rise back up after people would continue buying the card. So there are gonna be some rises on the market this Friday, as soon as this Friday, because once the promo comes out and once the packs come out, the switch flips and people start buying cards if they haven't already, especially because again, there's that big coin injection on this market. So for your most elite tier meta golds, like Messi gold, if Messi gold is in packs, he might go down to 400K, but then he also might ra rise back to like 460 or 470 later on in the evening, as a lot of people might wanna buy this Messi card on that first weekend. I think that first weekend, you know, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday is probably your biggest chance for a rebound. After that, the supply might continue to kind of take over like it did last year. And you might see Messi rebound up this weekend, but then drop off a little bit into early December. But I think that's going to be your movement for this weekend. You're going to see a low dip on stuff in packs and then a rise back. Now, let's take a look at a different section of the market because that gold cards are big, right? But they're going to get packed so much. Let's go to an area of the market that you don't have to worry about the supply as much. Let's talk icons. Now, these are one of my favorites for a rise after Black Friday because, again, people are tired of playing with gold compembe. That's that's a, another thing to talk about as well. There's going to be people that get a lot of coins from packing stuff and opening packs with FIFA points on Black Friday. That puts a lot of coins on the market. They're going to want to upgrade their team, and icons are cheaper than ever this year. So this is going to be a place where I think a lot of people go to upgrade their squads out of pack special cards and icons. And take a look at how cheap some of these guys are this year. Alessandro Del Piero this year, 800,000 coins. He was 1 million coins, 1.1 mil at the beginning uh, of this year. Now, of course, FIFA 22, supply. There's a lot more supply on this market. But look at the percentage point drop that we have seen on this Del Piero from 1.1 mil all the way down to 800K. That is very, very low. Last year, Del Piero was 1.1 mil as well. He was actually 1.2 mil before Black Friday. He dropped down to, he dropped down about 200,000 coins, right? From 1.26 down to 1.06, right before Black Friday. Black Friday comes out, he goes all the way back to almost 1.2 mil. And then Prime Icons come out in early December. And of course that destroys the whole icon market. We have icon swaps and stuff like that. So it drops back down. But you did see this big rebound on that weekend after Black Friday on his icon card. Same thing happened with Patrick Vieira. This year, Vieira has dropped down from 1.8 mil all the way to 1.3. He's actually really rare right now. He's bounced back up to 144. There's gonna be more panic on all of these icons. I almost guarantee you that that's gonna happen. Last year, he was 2 million coins before Black Friday. He was about 1.9. Yeah, around Black Friday, and then rose to 2.3 right afterwards, right? I think that some of these icons this year are so cheap and they've dropped off so much that there's gonna be a really nice rise on a couple of these cards post Black Friday. I know that icons are more supply this year, just like the whole part of the market is, but you find some of these cards that really like to bounce around. You know, some of these guys like Kentana or Eto, Eto's a card that just moves in this market a ton. Like mid Eto, 1.6 mil, how much was he earlier? He was 2.2 million coins. And you're telling me this guy is down at 155? I mean, as long as we don't have some sort of like Eto SBC or a mid icon SBC come out right away on Friday, this sort of card, it would be one that I would expect to go back up to like 1.8, 1.9 million coins as a very rare, very popular icon on this game. So icons on literally any budget. I mean, of course your higher tier ones, your most popular ones are gonna do really well. Watch out for a guy like this, Cafu. A lot of Brazilian hype recently. New icon to FIFA 22. So a lot, Rooney, right? Van Persie, Rio Ferdinand. I mean, you guys have seen some of these graphs from last year, right? Baby Rio was 860K. He was down in the 600s. But if we go to last year, Baby Rio, look at this kind of rise that this dude had. He was last year, before Black Friday, he was 920,000 coins. He rose up over a mil, so went up about 100,000 coins. And of course, later in the year when you know these cards got really out of packs and they got really rare, he went up to 1.4. But just you're going to see a really, really nice rise on icons. I think that's almost inevitable in this game this year because icons are so cheap and people are going to get coins and they're going to go upgrade their squads and buy them up. So I love icons. I would look to buy these cards probably 
if there's any sort of more more another like situation where you have more panic selling right if we have another couple hours before friday on some of these really top tier icons you could look to buy them around that time frame uh, but also actually on Friday, when we have the packs released, these guys are going to be popping up on the market in the first couple hours of the lightning rounds and stuff like that. So maybe it's somebody like a Philip Lam, who is like a very rare icon that a lot of people like to use. If this guy's down to like 1.1 mil, I mean, that's pulling the trigger for me. And that's, that's a price where I'd be like, okay, that for Philip Lam is very, very cheap. This Roberto Carlos has already dropped off a decent amount. He was in the one mil flat range yesterday. Again, he's kind of rare at the moment. And you, you've kind of seen this, right? Right now when I'm recording this on Tuesday, the market's kind of evened out a bit. Some prices have kind of bounced back up as the panic has stopped. We talked about that in last night's upload. Uh, but I think you're going to see another round of that panic this weekend. And of course, icons being supplied uh, present some you know, new cards coming onto the market when that happens as well. So I love icons and I also love out of pack specials. I really, really do love the out of pack special cards. You have to remember that some of these, these promo teams, we haven't had that many promos yet at this point in this stage in the year in FIFA. And some of these promo cards, I mean, they're very, very popular items. Now it depends. I think on Friday, we're gonna have a whole new promo team along with best of team of the week being back in packs. So there's a little bit of risk with these cards in the fact that they might release another Prem left wing, um, you know, special card that maybe will hurt this Jota or especially SBCs or objectives could hurt some of these out of pack special cards a little bit. But if it's a really, really meta item like this Felix, right? 650, he's bounced back up like 50,000 coins from where he was, uh, or like Millie Tao as an Adidas numbers up card. Or maybe you look at some of these rule breakers like Phil Foden. I think Phil Foden is gonna be a massive, massive riser post Black Friday. I mean, he's up right now, 330,000 coins. He was 300 flat at his lowest in the panic. I think this is a great card or any of these rule breakers that are very popular like this Foden. I think this would be a great card to look at in the panic selling as we head into this weekend because I think there is going to be another round of panic as these cards have kind of rebounded back up just because there's less selling out of the weekend. So again, Thursday, Friday, or if you see some panic, anything, even earlier than that this week, the next time we have a big drop off on these cards, like I'm, I'm, I'm not talking a huge drop off like Foden going to 200K. But like if Foden goes back down to 300,000 coins, I would buy. Or if you see like Klosterman get down to 130 again, you know, st stuff like that. Like the Adidas cards that we've seen rebound back. Jota was like 350, I think, at his lowest. Felix was 580. If you see those types of drops again, dropping back down to where they were, kind of on their lowest point on the weekend, it's not expected for these cards to come back into packs. And that would be the only thing that would kind of, you know, mess up these cards on the market as well. Usman Dembele, 450,000 coins. He was 550. He's down 100, 100K from where he was. If this is in the low 400s again, that's probably a card that I'm looking at, right? I love this Rudiger option as well. There's really no other Prem center backs um, that people would maybe want to upgrade to. You've got Van Dijk, you've got Varane, and you've got Rudiger. I think those are your main three. Now, I would expect to see one as a part of the promo this weekend. But I think with the links that he provides, a lot of people have flashback Conte. A lot of people will want to use Conte in their teams after Black Friday as he's like the best prem CDM. They're probably going to upgrade to him. I like this Rudiger card. I really do. I like Trent with his links to Salah. Salah player of the month that is out. Uh, people are going to be packing a lot of SBC fodder over this, this whole promo. So I'd watch those cards. And of course, the uh, road to the knockouts. Now, of course, these guys have games like starting today when I'm recording this video. Uh, these are going to be great. Uh, risers post Black Friday as well, especially if there's any drop this week because of maybe players or teams losing and it's looking like their potential for an upgrade uh, will be slim. The next time we have Champions League games, I think it's like two weeks from now in early December, these guys are going to kind of reach their peak because that's when the upgrades are going to be and these cards won't get upgraded after then, but I think these are great cards to watch out for too. And for all of these, right? Icons and these out of pack special cards, what I really think you're looking out for, you can even include ones to watches in this conversation as well. I really think you're looking out for one more period of panic that could come later on this week on if EA drops a loading screen, that could cause some panic. That would be something I'd be watching out for, a, a loading screen panic, or if we have like, people are right now are maybe expecting to see a new promo, uh, but I think that a lot of people 
also aren't expecting that at the same time. So watch out for any new hints or things that we might see from a loading screen that may cause some panic on the market. That could be a great time to buy some of those out of packs cards. And even on Friday, when the content is released, if it's right around the content drop time, people are gonna be so involved with whatever is you know like opening their packs, the new SBCs and objectives and watching the market um, <clears throat> on the stuff that's getting packed, maybe taking a look at some panic selling on those cards then would be a great time to as well. Basically, you just gotta buy before uh, late Friday because late Friday is when that stuff is gonna be starting to rebound back up as people spend those coins from opening packs and they go out and they buy teams. Now, last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is SBC fodder. Yes, I'm talking about SBC fodder on this video because after Black Friday, I know fodder is very high right now, but after Black Friday, there are tons of SBCs released because EA know they just put so many coins into people's accounts because they opened the packs that EA put out. Fodder is going to rise. Let me show you some of the prices that rose last year. I know we've seen fodder go up a lot. PK, right? PK from last year, 86 rated card. During the month of November, he went from 13,000 coins to 17K. What are our 86 rated players right now? 15, 16, 17,000 coins are what they were this week. He went up to 17K, dropped down on Black Friday to about 15,000 coins, but peaked at 24,000 coins in early December. I believe there was a big icon pack that was released then. There was a lot of other content around that time. There's going to be a lot of SBCs released after Black Friday. Uh, and so, you know, this is all the fodder on this game. Take a look at Aspili Quinta, 84 rated card from last year. 4,000 coins, right? 4,000 coins right around Black Friday, rises up rises back down just into the Black Friday supply and then goes back up over 6,000 coins. So in my opinion, your best places to watch SBC fodder during this window are 88s. 88s were 34,000 coins. People are selling these now as we get towards the end of the week and towards all the pack supply that everybody's worried about. I think that these cards are gonna be your best buy right around when all the supply is, is, is being put out, right? Lightning rounds, preview packs, all of that stuff on Friday, on Saturday, on bid. On bid is gonna be my crucial point to you here. Uh, there's gonna be so many people sniping these cards that if you want to buy, I think bids are gonna be your best shout because there's gonna be so much supply expiring on bids. I think anything from 80, I guess I can recommend 84s because they did go up a lot. 84s, if they go back to like, you know, 3,000 coins, 85s, if they're back in like the 7K range, I don't think you're going to see 86s get back to like 10K. Like I know 86s were 10K right here, and I don't know if they're going to get back there. They might only go back to like 12,000 coins, but whatever they are on Friday, seriously, I would do a club stock, or if you want to buy more than that, feel free because I think these cards are really, really going to rise after uh, the Black Friday promo, because again, the main portion of why we see this market rise is going to be there's a lot of coins put onto this game. So just pick out your really popular players. Again, if you don't know popular players, go to the Footbin popular page that we look at all the time and look at some of the players that are on there. Even some of these cards that are expected to be in like best of team of the week. If you guys remember last year, um, the inform Renato Sanchez and inform Kyle Walker, some of the rises that those guys had uh, out of packs after Black Friday, even though they were supplied with best of team of the week, there was so much demand. I think Vinny Jr., if they do best of team of the week, he's probably going to be in for his 85 rated inform, which is going to cause some panic selling. But I mean, if this guy is in like the, if he's 250, 240,000 coins, this is like the most favorite left wing in the game for everybody that plays FIFA. This card is cracked, right? So, I, I think a card like that would definitely have a nice rise post Black Friday. It's all about what is meta, again, what is popular, and what is rare. Those three things, we talk about it all the time. Those are the three things to really look at uh, through this promo and, and with cards that will rise very nicely after Black Friday. So as you're looking to buy your teams, again, watch for any panic selling. Again, like we talked about on the out of pack specials, if you see a dip, before Black Friday on the out of packs cards, or if you're actually on the day and there's some panic selling there too, even whatever the content is, there's gonna be a bounce back regardless. Even if the content is like stupid, insane, never seen before stuff, there's gonna be a bounce back because the amount of coins that will be put on the market this weekend will be insane. And people will go out and they will use those coins to buy players, try out players, and uh, and spend, they're not gonna let those coins just sit in the top left. They're gonna do SBCs, which is gonna make fodder rise because EA is gonna put out a plentiful amount of SBCs for sure during that time frame. 
Uh, and it's going to be great fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be actually, in my opinion, really easy to make coins this weekend because you're going to have all this time of people waiting to buy and then you're going to have everybody going and buying this weekend. It's just going to create a perfect storm of opportunity to make a ton of profit on this market. So that is the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.